Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your tarot reading, Capricorn, I'm going to be going a little bit deeper into your reading with some shell readings. Um, as you guys know, we have experienced the solar eclipse and on 4th of July, we're going to be entering the lunar eclipse. So a lot of major transformations, a lot of major changes that are going to impact us, not just on a personal level, but globally as well. So let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month of July, 2020 Capricorn, sun, moon, and rising and Venus. All right, let's see what spirit has. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, for the month of July 2020. Okay, Capricorn. All right, so we have a lot of movement. For a lot of you guys, there's a lot of expansion that's going to be happening. I want to say from now all the way to September, uh, they're saying that there is going to be almost this... Um, this energy of people just being pulled towards you, people coming towards you for advice, for business advice, for guidance. Um, a lot of, I, I, I'm almost feeling like the sun is going to be radiating, <laughs> radiating on you, Capricorn. A lot of attention. Now, I do want to mention for those of you guys that are in the, in the public um, arena, whether it be authors, writers, um, whether you're into any type of a form of expression, um, be mindful of the messages that you put out because I do see uh, a lot of attention um, coming towards you, but this can also represent um, people really nitpicking at you or trying to uh, find or you know try to find some fault in you um, and this could very well be representing um, th the energy of almost like when you get when you get attention it's a good thing but when you get too much attention that's when rumors start spreading that's when people start gossiping envy um, jealousy all of that type of energy around you and I do see a lot of people around you so I would be very careful with that okay and like I said, be mindful of the way you express yourself. Now, I do see new projects coming um, coming uh, towards you. Now, this could be projects in regards to renovation of your homes. Uh, for some of you guys, this could even be moving. Um, moving is very highlighted here. And also, I do want to mention, because we do have four, other pla four or five planets right now in the sign of Capricorn, uh, with your ruling planet being there as well, and then the moon and going into the so the lunar eclipse, this is gonna this is very transformative type of energy, very heavy energy. So a lot of you know starting over for some of you guys, it could be uh, that you decide to leave the career that you've been doing for a very long time and you start dabbling into something else. Uh, or pursuing a new endeavor, a new career, something you've never done in the past. But I also do see, um, they are saying uh, uh, relocation for some of you guys, uh, uh, moving to a different city, a different state, uh, for some of you guys, even a different country. Um, and I think that for the majority of you, what they're saying here is that in regards to, in regards to your finances, I know that uh, some Capricorns have been experiencing a major momentum um, since last year up until now, and they're still experiencing it or they're still going through it. But for those of you guys that have been uh, having difficulty in regards to finances, and it almost seems like a blockage keeps coming up or something that you need to overcome, what they're saying is that there is a vast opportunity coming towards you um, this is kind of like that energy of being at the right time, at the right place with the right people. And I feel that uh, these opportunities come to you through different sources, meaning uh, outside sources. So not you per se going out and looking for these opportunities, but I feel like people coming towards you because they know that you are, uh, let's just say you're a, a great salesperson and they want you on their team or you have management experience and they would want a manager like yourself, or you are 
much more qualified for a higher position than the person that you're that you, the recent uh, present your supervisor or manager or something like that so it's almost like people are literally going to be helping you elevate or growing um, and expanding in regards to business and in regards to your finances I do see some of you guys investing and I think that for the month of July, it's not necessarily an ideal, although I would suggest August and September when it comes to either investments or when it comes to anything that has to do with chance or gamble even, um, because I do see that uh, this is being highlighted here. Now, make sure to take care of your health, Capricorn. Um, I do see for some of you guys having a bit of issues in regards to your knees. Keep in mind, uh, Saturn is in your ruling planet and uh, Saturn does rule the bones and Capricorn uh, rules the knees. So again, uh, just be mindful and take care, um, take care of yourself, okay? All right, let's get into your reading. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of July 2020. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of July 2020. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Also, I do want to mention <laughs> they are saying making sure to keep yourself very hydrated, Capricorn. Um, not sure why they're saying that. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be that you guys don't really keep you guys don't really keep yourselves hydrated. For others of you, it could just be that you don't drink enough water. Um, but what they're saying is that you got to make sure um, that you're cleansing yourself, and water is very cleansing. So again, make sure to keep yourself hydrated. That's also going to help some of you guys with headaches or uh, feeling a lot of tension in your crown. Uh, in your in the crown of your head um, for those of you guys that are or have been experiencing like headaches or anything like that uh, that's also going to be helping you uh, making sure that you are hydrated and well rested okay all right spirits what are the messages for capricorn sun moon rising and venus for the month of july 2020 capricorn capricorn okay All right, Capricorn. All right, you have the Seven of Swords here next to the Sun card, next to the Ace of Pentacles. Wow, two Aces. Uh, the Ace of Wands, the King of Swords, the King, uh, sorry, the Knight of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, the Strength card, Seven of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, yeah, so we go back to that of, um, and this is exactly the energy that I was seeing, uh, the radiance of the sun. So I think that for some of you guys, it could be like, especially like I said, if you're in the public, um, and you're in the public stage, meaning if, you know, image is very important to you. I think that for a lot of you guys, you may be experiencing for this month a bit of scrutiny, whether it be, be uh, people being judgmental or whether it be people bringing up the past. Uh, so be careful with that, especially those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship and you've had a tendency. Now, I'm not going to say all of you guys. Obviously, it is a general reading. But for those of you guys that have had a tendency of stepping out of the relationship, be very careful and very mindful, especially if you're going on social media to meet other people, etc., because you might encounter a person that you know or that person knows your partner. So just be careful with that. The Seven of Wands, sorry, the Seven of Swords indicates sneaky behavior being highlighted and, you know, them rushing to give that type of communication. And I do see the death card here. So you don't want to basically burn that bridge if you are genu genuinely trying to rebuild that relationship or strengthen it, okay? Especially those of you guys that have cheated on your partner on multiple occasions. You don't want to continue keep doing that. Keep in mind Saturn is the karma planet. You reap what you sow. So, And then uh, with the moon entering the sign of Capricorn and the lunar eclipse, the moon is definitely going to highlight things that are of sneaky behavior. So just keep that in mind. 
Now you do have here the Sun card with the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. Like I said, for those of you guys that have been having a very difficult time in regards to new beginnings or things that just don't seem to get off the ground, all of this is going to be uh, basically being removed. The blockages are going to be removed. You're going to be able to move forward and feel like almost spirit is guiding you or opening new doors for you. You also do have here the two of one. So when it comes to partnerships, whether it be relationships or whether it be uh, partnerships in regards to business, stand your ground, Capricorn. Speak up for yourself. Don't bite your tongue, especially if you're dealing with uh with supervisors or people of higher authority that often question the way you approach certain situations uh, or how you deal with business. What they're saying here is that you need to have confidence in yourself and you need to imitate that uh, or emulate that by walking in confidence. And if you're very you know, sure that this is the way things work for you, then do it and stick by that. Don't let outside interference, you know, affect the way you approach uh, business or the way you do business because this could actually affect you instead of help you. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Now you do have the seven of pentacles with the six of wands being able to move forward in a positive way and being able to find balance with your finances as well as find some type of stability that you've been waiting for, or you've been hoping for. Now you do have the death card here next to the three of cups. So for some of you guys, major transitions, like I said, changes that are coming. Um, now for those of you guys that are single, I do see partnerships being highlighted here for some of you guys. You may be dealing with uh, Leo type of energy with fire type of energy and Aries. Also um, another Capricorn like yourself or uh, Virgo or Taurus type of energy. But what they're saying here is that you, so as an example, if you're still dealing with or communicating with the person from your past, don't let them dictate how you see or how you perceive your future. So what I mean by that is if you've given an opportunity to a person from your past on multiple occasions and or vice versa, it is a general reading, or if they've given you opportunities on multiple occasions, and you guys just can't seem to get your shit together, it's time to let that, it's time to release that. It's time to let go of the past, let go of the fear that's holding you back, Capricorn. Only then, were you, only then will you be able to not only start a new beginning, but to actually flourish, to actually be able to attract the person that is more ideal for you. I do see commitment for some of you guys. So for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, don't be surprised if in the next coming months, uh, there is um, a particular person that you meet or a particular person that could be very well in your surroundings already uh, that picks up. So what I mean by picks up, it could be a friend uh, or a friendship that starts off or has started off as friendship and it actually turns into something else. Okay. All right. Let's see what your final messages are from spirit. Spirit, what are the final messages? What are the direct messages that you have for Capricorns? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for this month of July. All right, your first card is Show the World the Real You, Full Moon in Aquarius. Capricorn, there is, there is a lot of things about, there's a lot of things about Capricorns. Um that you have a tendency to hide because you feel that it's going to be like we were talking about earlier, scrutinized, or like people are going to judge you or like people are going to think a, a different way about you. But what they're telling you here is if you walk in your truth and stop negating your true nature, as an example, for those of you guys that have been in nothing but monogamous relationships and it just hasn't worked out because you can't seem uh, to either commit to someone, it's time for you to stop trying to force yourself to be a monogamous type of person. Um, the more you try to suppress that, the more it comes out. So again, if this is, you know, there's nothing wrong with wanting to be single the rest of your life and wanting to taste the honeys. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's nothing wrong with that. And what they're saying is it's time for you to own that Capricorn. It's time for you to own it. And if you are the monogamous type, meaning if that's what you expect from your partner, 
then it's time for you to get your shit together. It's time for you to really vibrate to that of your highest frequency and be the person you are expecting your partner to be. Only, the, and this is for singles as well, only finding your true self and embracing who you really are and loving yourself unconditionally will you then be able to attract towards you a person of the same vibration, meaning a person that is not broken, a person that knows exactly who they are, a person that is certain and knows exactly what it is that they want. So that's what they're telling you here. Show the world who you really are and own that shit, Capricorn. Now, your next card here is balance, spirituality and practicality, full moon in Pisces. So balancing, I think I did this to one of the other signs. I'm not sure if it was Libra or Aries where... They were talking about manifestations as well as we have a tendency as humans that when things are going really good, we forget about our spiritual side. And when things are going difficult or we're going through that struggle, that's when we become very spiritual. And what they're saying here is basically when you're doing good Capricorn, that's when you should be more grateful. That's when you should be more closer to your spirituality because you have so much to be thankful for. And not only through difficulty and through strife can you or should you connect with your spiritual side this is something that should be very present in your everyday life only then balancing your material or this earthly you know material bound uh the experiences that we're going through and the everyday mundane type of thing and including or bringing connected with your spirituality only then is sky the sky's the limit basically because part of manifestation is learning the practical ways of attracting things towards you and if you're connected to your spiritual realm or to your spirituality there's really no boundaries there of how much you can grow because it's all about taking self-responsibility as well as self-acceptance um, instead of playing the victim role, you actually own situations that we put ourselves that we put ourselves in. And the moment you take ownership of that, yes, it's a mistake, but I'm owning it. You're taking your power back. So that's what they're trying to uh, evoke here. That's what they're speaking about when it comes to balance, uh, spirituality, and practicality, which is that of balancing the everyday mundane type of lifestyle as well as maintaining that connection to spirit uh, to spirit as well all right all right my lovelies i hope you guys enjoyed this reading so like share and comment and let me know if you guys enjoyed this reading so we can integrate a little bit more of the shell readings into your readings many blessings to all of you guys i wish you guys the very best stay safe and happy lunar eclipse we'll see each other soon bye